everyone. I hope that you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. And I have yet another fitness favorites. And it's not necessarily of this month, but these are just a handful of uh, fitness, nutrition related items that I find for myself are extremely beneficial and I'm just thinking there's bound to be at least a few more individuals out there who find these same items just as beneficial, uh, if not more so. And so hopefully you guys can derive some of the same benefits and enjoyment that I have. I will also add that I am not affiliated with any of these products or items. I bought them with my own money and if any of those companies happen to watch this and feel like sending me money, I won't turn my nose up at it, but I'm not being paid for any of this. These are my own personal opinions and my experience with the products. So, I also have at the end of this video a live taste review and you guys can see firsthand what I think of that product that I find nutritionally a huge improvement and I want to see if taste wise it can hold up. So if you guys are ready, we will get started. Okay, first in my bag of goodies, I've got, I know I've talked about water a lot, but this happens to be my favorite water and it's Essentia, it's 9.5 pH and what I really, really love this for is I sometimes will get acid reflux when I exercise and I find that when I sip this high pH water when I exercise, that does not happen. It prevents it. So it keeps, I guess, the acidity in my tummy a little bit lower and really, really helps with that. So there's nothing more disrupting in the middle of a workout than getting some crazy heartburn and this helps. It tastes really, really clean and awesome. Next, you guys know how obsessed I am with my berry shakes. They are, I swear to God, my favorite meal. I derive so much enjoyment when I eat them. And I, a couple of months ago, was thinking that it was just a little sweet and I was wanting something to add a little bit of tartness and tang and zip. And I found something that is absolutely perfect. Frozen cranberries. And you don't really see cranberries being added to smoothies and shakes very often, but it is pure money. If you like tart things and uh, maybe like tart candy things like that then you will want to jump all over this like a puma it is awesome plus cranberries are low in sugar they're high in fiber ton of antioxidants they're really really healthy berries as well and in my opinion now very underutilized when it comes to shakes and smoothies so try it out see what you think whoa what do we have here greek yogurt what are you doing in my bag it's in here because it's a perma favorite and i know that you guys are sitting at home going that is the 40 millionth time that she has talked about greek yogurt and you're wondering when is she ever going to get that stuff out of my face ever because it's awesome it's like a favorite child to me i love it something else that i find myself recommending to people all the time so i'm going to throw it out there as well a lot of people have a mineral deficiency with magnesium and one of the biggest side effects of being deficient in magnesium is it affects your sleep insomnia having a hard time staying asleep or going to sleep sleep is such an extremely important aspect of health and fitness and pretty much everything regarding living life and whenever someone tells me that they have problems with sleeping this is always the first thing i recommend no side effects it it doesn't have any kind of grogginess effects. It's not addictive. It's just a natural mineral. So if you are deficient, you will find when you take magnesium that the quality of your sleep will be greatly improved. The only thing I will warn you against if you run out and try this is that you want to start off with half doses and kind of work your way up to what they consider two rounded teaspoons as a full dose. I wouldn't necessarily start off with that to try to just state it bluntly, it will give you butt explosions. So be careful, but other than that, work your way up to it. It's amazing. It's just an anti-stress. It's fabulous stuff. If you have problems sleeping, this stuff is awesome. I take it at night and I'm out like a light in like 
10 minutes. And last but not least, I have my live taste test review, and this is a protein bar. Here's the thing with protein bars. While there are those moments in the day, and I have a lot of them recently with my schedule, where you're running from one thing to the next, to the next job, then back to this job, and you're constantly on the move, and it's hard sometimes to take the time to actually fix yourself something, and you need to just grab something really quick for your blood sugar. Protein bars are awesome as far as their convenience, but as you guys know, nutrition-wise, they are pretty awful, and usually the ingredient list is about a hundred items back to back of things that you can't even pronounce. They're just extremely over processed, and you're probably doing yourself more harm than good. But these Quest bars have recently come out, and I've done a little bit of research on them and read up, and the ingredient list is awesome. They've got several different kinds that are all gluten free, they've got some that are sugar free and no sugar alcohols. They have some, uh, like this one is no sugar or no artificial sweeteners used. So whatever really natural side of things that you're trying to go for, they've got some options. But all of them, um, the ingredient lists are far, far better than any other thing I've ever seen. It's just protein, natural prebiotic fibers, peanut butter, water, cocoa, peanuts, sea salt, Stevia. So, I mean, it's there's hardly anything in them compared to what most of these things contain. And the nutritional balance is awesome as well. And this particular flavor is chocolate peanut butter because I find those two things were made to be best friends and are magic in your mouth. So, we will see right now. I will try to not take a big honking bite and then make you guys look at my chewed up food. But here we go live. I'll rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, completely honest. Here we go. You gotta go all the way to the end, wait for any aftertaste. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna give it an 8.25. 8.25. Compared to other protein bars, especially, it's really, really good. It's extremely chewy, but that is probably a good thing. It slows down your eating and when you're starving hungry you're not just going to jam the whole thing in your mouth and then want more food. So it's a natural barrier and forces you to chew it up and give yourself a little bit of time but it's very good. Tasty. I recommend it. Tastes is good. You guys remember we have the monthly end of the month giveaway coming up and I also have an insane isolated butt burner. Maybe the most intense butt burner that I've done. So that's coming too. So have awesome, happy, healthy, blessed weeks and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye! <laughs>